Over half the viewers that watch my videos are not subscribed. If you love the game and like what you see, hit subscribe, click the bell and remember to enable all notifications. If you want to support the channel like these members and become a zombie slayer, click the join button and see what it entails. My social info such as Facebook, Twitter and PayPal are in the description down below. I hope you enjoy the video. Hey guys and welcome back to 7 Days That I Where's UK Mod. Now, as you saw in the last two episodes, we found an epic town. There's a trader there, 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 there. Uh, one over here somewhere. There's a trader there. It's traders all over. There's always patches of four. So you could argue there's too many traders, but at the moment that's awesome. And these big ones, I'm trying to get my lucky looter perk high enough because these big ones over here, they have a ton of books and gun boxes and stuff in there. So if your looting skill is high enough, you're set for life. But I'm going to do this episode though. We just found this trader yesterday. And I'm going to do, let me just make sure there's no bosses walking around. For those of you that haven't played this in a while, there's zombies everywhere. Boss zombies, freak zombies, everything. Be careful. So make sure we drop everything up here quickly. And then we're going to take this place over as our base. And then just jump down. Okay, I need to be careful though. There's so many zombies walking around. Um, also, I need to be careful not to fire too many shots, which I'm doing right now. Because I'm going to start calling way too many boss zombies. Guys, there's radiated freaks walking around everywhere. And when I mean freaks, I mean it in a polite way, but also like a damn way. The radiated dogs and fire dogs and wolves and dog hordes. Like last episode, we got that wandering horde just coming by. And now also we have to watch out for all the other stuff too. For like the radiated demolisher and all those things. And those aren't even all the bosses the game has to offer. It's going to get so much harder. Oh, I should actually grab, grab all the lockpicks I have downstairs. I have quite a few, of, uh, quite, uh, quite a few lockpicks that we could actually use over here. Man, right next to a trader. This is awesome. Which also means if you use this as a base, they won't be able to attack from the side. Or they'll just die on those spikes over there if they try and run from that side. So it's going to give us a little bit of breathing room, but... if we uh, Guys, I'm definitely going to make my own base soon. But I'm first going to start with the prison because at least it's it's well protected. We have a base over here. Um, as soon as we can, we will though make our own base and go from there. But for now, this is how it's going to be or have to be. Okay, um, any zombies in there that can help me? I don't think I have any picks or anything at the moment, and that means I have to break through these things manually. There are quite a few doors though. Um, the main building should have a few zombies left, so as soon as we get there, they'll definitely help break through. I'm going to see that my health is still going up, because it seems like my health is dropping for some reason. I don't think there's like a negative effect like poison or something on me. Yeah, oh, what I should also do is this. As you guys have seen from the last two episodes, this town is insane. It might have like... 20 or so traders, but at the same time, it has all these boss zombies and monsters walking around. It's just, if your stamina is low and one of those things see you, you're gone. There's no way you're going to be able to protect yourself. Oh, you can pick up chairs. Did I just damage the other ones and that's why I couldn't pick them up? Oh, there's a coyote over there. Also, guys, you guys can see, there's coyotes walking around everywhere over here. It's like, are they, they don't know which biome they belong in. They're technically only supposed to be in the desert biome, but they are everywhere over here. Okay, I don't think we're going to need any lockpicks for the trader, for the community trader, so that's awesome. Which means we can use our lockpicks over here. Now, I just hope the lockpick doesn't break too much. We have in this place, I think, four safes when you open. One year and then three in one room in the uh, big building, in the main building. I should be able to at least make that main building my house for now. And like I said, as soon as we have the resources, guys, I'm going to make my own defense. Um, almost like the one we have in Darkest Falls. Well, it's going to have to be exactly like the one in Darkest Falls, so that we can just survive. But as soon as we can, we're definitely going to move uh, into our own standalone base. Wow, okay, so three lockpicks just broke. Scrap, scrap, and we can sell that one. I need to be careful. Um, if you repair normal blunderbusses, it requires a short iron pipe. If you, require, if you repair these HD ones, it actually uses a repair kit. So if you're not aware of that, watch out, just now use up all your repair kits. Although, I mean, we have way more repair kits right now. It's, it's, it's so easy getting resources in this one now. Please don't break your legs or sprain your legs. Okay, my, my HP definitely went down just now. It makes sense because I, just, I did just fall a little bit, but still. Okay, so, um, zombies upstairs. Can you fall on my head, please? Oh, you're downstairs. What is that one? The ones, it looks like they were flayed alive. In the live. Okay, so at least we have a few shots. I want to use up all these normal rounds anyways. That's nice for killing zombies from a distance. Oh, please don't tell me that one's feral. 
female. You're just normal, right? Yeah. These used to be the feral versions. I know they're the female versions, but technically they're always the faster ones. Now, all of a sudden, they're not anymore, which is actually a good thing for us. Okay, so are we going to help them? Are they going to fall behind us? Oh, please help me break this door. Oh, I need to repair this. I don't have any stone on me at the moment, so he's going to have to do most of the damage. Um, I wonder if there's some stone in my bag. Or rather, if I scrap one of these, that should give me stone. Oh, that should give me wood. It sounded wrong, but that's all I mean. <laughs> okay, let's just quickly get some stone over here. I, I didn't realize it was this low on quality. But the sooner we can move all the stuff over, guys, the better. This is shaping out to be a or shaping up to be a massively awesome series. I need to watch out for that zombie that's trying to break out because he might be out already. But I do need the meat, so why not? No, 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 no. There you go. Is he out? Well, he shouldn't be out by now, right? Because he was doing so little damage, he shouldn't really be out. Okay, first, before we destroy him, loot him. Guys, remember, you can loot animals in this mod, which is also awesome because you can get so much meat before you even start skinning them. And sometimes there's even ammo and stuff in there, which is also pretty cool. That one's empty. I don't think that desk is empty. No, it is. Okay, now I need to go back up and fall back down, but I just hope I can place this block so I don't break my leg. Um... Damn it, I, was, I thought I might be able to place this underneath me, but it doesn't seem like I can. I place it as I fall. Come on, up here, help me. He gave up. Okay, well, he was following me technically, but still. I want him to do the last shot. Where is he now? I wanted him to do the last shot because then at least I can shoot him after he does that damage. Ooh, it's been a while since I actually got a... Oh, Nice. It's been a while since I got in a drop from a zombie, so that's awesome. Better boots, level better, thank you. <laughs> level better. Okay, modify, put that there, and where? Nice. Ooh, hello. I thought he was a corpse of the previous one. You should always be careful of this, uh, the crawlers over here. Let's also check all these rooms. Just now there's a radiator walking around. And that we do not need or want. Are you guys downstairs? Upstairs? Where are you? Definitely in here. There's a zombie in here as well, it seems. Um, none of them in the cells, right? It's gonna suck if I don't look in the cells, all of a sudden there's a ton of zombies over there. And the yard is clean. Yes. Okay, we're getting a little bit of stutter, a little bit of frame drop, but it's so far so good. Guys, I just wish I could get myself the AMD card. I mean, I'm turning 29 on the 20th of December this year. And that would be so awesome to be able to just, as a birthday person, get myself one of those. But this year has been way too tough financially, so that's not going to happen. Okay, let's just break that. Whoops, I thought it was one more level. Okay, so I need to be careful not to shoot my shotgun in there. I don't want to destroy the weapons bag. Let's just let him get out. Whoops. Ooh, you got lucky. The stumble just now saved his ass. Okay, gun bags in there. Anything behind here? You think there'd be some zombies over here as well? This is a bathroom though. Okay, now we just need stamina. We need to go kill those zombies on that side. Oh, she's trying to break through the door. I was wondering where she was. Okay, so this I can help you with. Hello, lady. Which one is she, though? It's nice that they have different attributes now, like different um, skin colors, clothing and stuff. But it makes it hard to tell which zombie is which zombie. Yeah, one more layer. Darlene HDV4. So that means it's, a, it's the fourth version of her, right? Okay. Come on, break it, break it, break it, break it. There you go. Wow, they always save themselves from falling. Do you see that just now? She hit the door and then she stood back up. Like she corrected herself. Okay, now we need to be able to get out of there but without breaking some walls and stuff. Later I'll focus on making some more space of here and then taking all of this out. Ooh, okay, that's the extent of my placing powers. Oh, and I just dropped in. Okay, so, um, unfortunately, as I, I saw, the trader building is right there. And this thing is still part of the trader ground. So that's why we can't get in there. Okay, uh, that would have worked. That would have been cool if I could just drop down there and place the block. But still, inside. I wonder how far, wait. Yeah, like three blocks. The wall and two more blocks of this place is part of the trader uh, territory. That sucks. At least now we do have a base, we don't have to worry too much. 
But by day 7, I want to actually have like a wall defense in place just in case. Um, technically, I want to take all the stairs out, but before then, we need some tools. Let me just first clear this place, and I actually want to show you guys exactly what I mean. Rather than just talking about it, I'll try and point it out. The pointing is not really going to help all that much, but hopefully you get more or less the gist of what I want to do. And did I just clear out this whole place? Those two towers I definitely did. And my stamina, my health is so low. Especially my health. I need to make sure that doesn't go too low. Because knowing me, I just wait until it's too low and then it's too late. Because one zombie hitting you can kill you. Okay, stamina. Um, we're almost level 9, so then we can go for Lucky Looter again. Or we can actually go for stamina a bit. I should go for stamina, guys, but I want to loot those other places before day 7. If we can get enough guns and tools, perhaps, from the community trader to help us out during the horde, that's going to be epic. I just need to take all these ladders out. And then what I want to do, I can quickly get up there. Oops, okay. So I want to have the zombies come in through the front gate over there. And my main defense is going to be, uh, this is going to be my base where I put all my loot and stuff. It's a shame that it's connected to the tower and we can't even destroy this tower because the trade is part of it. But we can still do a ton with this. Um, as long as I can, oh, it almost fell off. As long as I can make sure that the zombies don't get through the tower to me, like I just have to destroy the staircase. Um, this can be our main loot building and then in the front over there is going to be our, uh, our defense. And see, this looks like an uneven build, so that's awesome. At the back over here, I'm going to make sure there's a few holes or tunnels going through. And then the zombies have to, oh, also there, there's going to be, have to be holes in the wall. The reason for that being is you don't want zombies just digging everywhere and anywhere. The main defense is going to have to be here. Right down the middle, although, wait. Is that uneven or is it even? One, two, three, one, two, oh, that's even. Well, then again, our current Darkest Falls base is even, so it should work out, hopefully. Now, we just need to go grab all our loot and move in over here. But I have all the wood on me, right? No, I didn't. I dropped some of it. I wanted to actually make a few of those chests and then just all of, yeah, chests. I want to say boxes, but we don't have any nails yet, as far as I'm aware. Nails, nails, nails. Nope, wrong kind of nails, but awesome kind of nails. Um, do we have any nails? If I could have made a storage chest, it would have been way, way, way bigger. Okay, uh, now just for wood then. Do I have the wood on me? Yes, I had it on me. Oh, no, I did not have it on me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, now I need to find a way into the base easy, to make it easier for me. At the moment, I have to go through so many gates and stuff. And I can't even destroy this gate over here. <gasps> this is actually awesome. Even if zombies get up here, they can't destroy this because this is trader territory. They, they can perhaps jump like this and jump over. And also, I can destroy this bridge past from here onwards. I can destroy. So that's no problem. But they can't use this door. That's actually kind of cool. The trade is kind of helping me out over there. Okay, now we need to place our loot. Um, see, there's windows over here everywhere. I don't really want to place it in front of windows. I just want to place the loot over here now somewhere where we can actually later get it. So I'm going to put the boxes right here for now. Oops, one I made eight. To, if I put it against the windows and I destroy the windows. At least we place wooden blocks over here. We can always upgrade them to reinforce concrete. But for now, we can just do this then. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I just want to test this. Yeah, that does destroy it. So I need to be careful. Rather test it now before I have any loot in there. Um, We do have this. And we do have wood. So I can quickly just upgrade it. It's nice that you can actually upgrade with your stone. Actually, don't like a stone hammer or something. Okay, now, uh, we need to start dropping food and water. Goes in the one chest. And medical we can put down below. Just as a feeling we can have a ton of stuff. Any kind of weapon goes in there. And any kind of ammo goes over here. Then over here we have tools. Uh, now let's make a car pot. So we can actually put that in there. Let's go quickly. Yeah, we have to grab everything. I can't think if I don't have more stuff on me. I need to divide it in such a, in such a way that we don't have to worry about storage later. It needs to be so neat that we don't have to worry at all. Now, you guys, the only thing I'm really worried about are these demolishers. They're so big, they're definitely going to be able to get to me. And if they explode, you saw how long it takes just to kill one of them. Now, if they were to explode, we'd have a massive problem. i grab all this. How much of this can I grab? More or less everything. I need to place my uh, land claim as well. But I want to place it in such a way that it's right next to the trader base of here. I'm guessing even if I place it in the middle, it's going to be too close to the trader. So I'm going to have to place it more to that side. Are you kidding me? That's kind of... 
That's a bunker trader. There's a ton of loot stuff in there that we need to get as well. This is shaping up to be awesome, guys. If I loot those small ones and then go for the community center, we'll have all the XP and levels we need to get the best loot out of the community ones. I need to make sure we loot all the traders. Okay, so this is weapons. We're going to put all that in there. Uh, tools. I want to actually put it on the bottom of here. Just for now, we, uh, we do need to go do dig quests and stuff, but just for now, we need to put it out of place. Um, so this is going to be ammo. Anything ammo related. Da, da, da. We do need to make more arrows, actually. We are very, very short on arrows. As long as we have one of each item in here, it's going to be good, way, way easier sorting. At the moment, sorting is difficult because you have to go into each item and see what you need to drop and what you need to keep. But later, if you have one of those items, just double tap and voila, everything's in there. And now that's technically medical. That there, I need to fill up the jars as well. I think there's water close by. Okay, so medical goes over here. Like so, that is beer. That is, yeah. Anything non-medical non at the moment, even if it's farming related and stuff, we'll put that over here. Food as well, but I'm going to place the campfire. As I can't wait until we start doing trade quests. I'm going to accept um, jobs from all the traders and just go through these places, but... It's going to be way, way harder. Especially with all these tough zombies as sleeper now, as sleepers now as well. We have to really be careful when we go into places. I mean, one of these guys can easily destroy the whole place they're standing in. Okay, parts we can put over here as well. And miscellaneous, we always put the bottom right chest. Okay, we said that's healing, right? Now, I can't believe there's so much stuff in this game. So much stuff, so many zombies. It's really, really awesome, actually. I never really got into where's okay. Everyone keeps asking me, wow, what's end game light? I like, but I've never actually really been end game. Um, I played to about day, I think the latest I've played is like 40 something. And then I stopped. So I've never really experienced like a day 70 or something horde in this game. And I think it's going to be hectic. It's going to be insane. Okay, we do need to start dropping a ton of stuff over here quickly. The longer I take, the less time we have to do other stuff as well. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Miscellaneous. Miscellaneous. We sell this. That goes with parts. We don't have any engines or bat... Yeah, we do have an end. Oh, we don't have a bat ship, but not an engine. Guys, because I'm Afrikaans, sometimes I swap those two around for some reason. Not, like, not that in Afrikaans it's any different. It's just that... I don't know. For some reason, I swap those two around when I'm talking about them. I always say en engine when it's a battery and battery when it's an engine. And then later, only correct myself. Okay, uh, put that in there. This is food related. I do need to make myself a drop chest. It's easily accessible as well. Okay, uh, that counts as ammo. We're almost done. And then I'm going to grab the other stuff later. What is that for over here? I'm going to put building supplies and resources over here. Oh, almost forgot. These boxes are also ammo. There you go. But yeah, resources doesn't have a box at the moment, so I'm just going to put it with the building supplies. I mean, later on, we're technically going to use both of them to make more building stuff and whatnot. Okay, um, that is miscellaneous. That is actually sellable. At the moment, it gets really tough to decide what goes where. Like, for example, since I have clothes in here, technically I should put the mods and die in there as well. Although, I'm going to sell them later, but still. Ammo, and this is all sellable. I wonder if I should put the sellable stuff outside, or if I should keep it inside. Technically, I could just use the toilets over here to uh, dump all my uh, loot. All the stuff, at least, that I want to sell. Like so. Okay, gas is also miscellaneous. And these are two guns that I want to sell. See, all these HD things and all these blunderbusses, they're going to sell for a ton in the end. Yeah, I want to get you this trader quickly before it closes. Make sure nothing follows me in there because we do sometimes have some tough zombies. Oh, I still haven't looted the one room of the uh, the prison over here. I wanted to make sure it was empty, so I haven't really gone in there. I want to loot that place. That, that kind of seems fun. But we do need to be careful. We don't want to just... Yeah, it's going to be tough. Ooh, okay, so... Can we lock... Wait. Can we lock this? Oh, we can lockpick it, but we just need more lockpicks because this is going to break. There's no way that I can actually open both these up with the lockpicks that I have. And I just realized if this breaks, I just wasted a lockpick that I could have used at the prison. Oh, awesome. Okay, so that was worth it. Uh, more armor, more stuff we can sell. Yes, thank you. We only have, se well, we have seven lockpicks left. Please don't fail. 
Even though we have seven, we do still have those safes at the um, prison that we have to open up now. I completely forgot about them. Guys, for those of you who don't know, these bunker um, traders used to have a ton of loot, but they nerfed it a bit. I wonder if these at the trader open up easier just because. Because that was just now insane. But yeah, it used to be that when you go into these rooms, they have those uh, hardened chests and stuff over here. All these rooms do have bookcases, so it's definitely worth going to loot it. But yeah, it's just, uh, it used to have way more stuff, way more epic stuff in here. Each one of these rooms had all of these schematics, and then behind you was also a hardened chest. You are way more accurate, uh, rapid firing 9 more um, uh, guns. I said from now I'm going to try and read these perk books, but it's hard to remember. This one is Junk Turret Schematic, HD, HD Double Barrel, and Wrench. Ooh, and Dynamite. That looks awesome just now. Okay, we do need to talk to all these traders for quests and stuff. No. Is he coming down? Oh, he's definitely coming down. Um, Can he get in, though? Or is he too tall? Run, 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 run. Oh, no, this is one. Oh, it's a wandering horde. It's a demolisher wandering horde. That is insane. If I can kill the demolishers at least, then we don't have to worry. They shouldn't kill the traders if I do this. Come on. Shoot his chest, shoot his chest. Okay. Kill your friends. Oh, there's a dog over here as well. I wonder if he's part of them. Okay, now I'm gonna die. Oh, he's gonna vomit. Yeah, I'm gonna die. I'm out of stamina. And these guys can vomit. No, 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 no. Please, 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 please interrupt it. In interrupt, interrupt. Hopefully if he vomits, I can just interrupt him like a cop. No, 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 no. Oh, so far I've been lucky. So far, but where's the other guy? Okay, so even these guys can vomit as well now. We need to be careful of that. All the bears inside are also going to come for me if I'm not careful. Seriously, where's the massive demolisher? They all came for the trader just now, which is insane. It's bad. Okay, so you're still alive. There's loot over here, but I want to see where that damn demolisher is. He's a tough one that we really have to be careful of right now. He's the biggest one. He's tall, so he can really move. He can cover a ton of distance. I can just shoot his chest from over here. He'll be able to explode. I don't think I'm hitting him. I'm hitting the floor, more or less. I can just kill that guy. I'll be safe. I'm going to go loot the rest of the stuff. At the moment, he's in the way. Make sure my stamina is at least there as well. He didn't tell me he can actually break through the block somehow. You know what? I should be safe inside. I'm gonna run inside. Oh uh, no, there's zombies inside. If I can get, if I can get these, oh hello. If I can get these zombies out of the way, I can actually hide inside. You know, all the uh, pure eyes zombies are coming off me as well. At least these ones I should be able to kill from the inside. And then the other guy can't get inside because he's so tall. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. If that big guy starts charging me right now, I won't be able to defend. Yeah, there shouldn't be any more zombies over here, right? Yeah, I just want to set off his chest. Nice thing is he can't get in here, but I'm going to waste a ton of ammo just trying to kill him. And be careful, there's nothing from behind as well. If I can just set off his charge on his chest, which is what I'm trying to hit right now. But this guy is really hard to hit in the chest. And he keeps healing himself. Oh, come on. He keeps healing himself, which is a bad thing. I need to do so much damage to him that he can't heal. Or at least shoot him in the chest. That was the ass shot. Oops, crap. Run, 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 run. Okay, so we survived that. Let's make sure we get all the other zombies. So we need to be careful now. I just realized, wandering zombies can go into traders. Because this mod is awesome. It's tough. It's insane. It's just, whoa. I'm definitely having way more fun now than I had last time. I can tell you that much. It's because it's way more challenging now as well. Okay, you just broke through. Good on you. Oops, stamina. Wait, what is that? No, 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 no. 
That's bad. I can't kill him. I'm not strong enough. No! What the hell? Oh no, I didn't place a bedroll. Oh no. What the hell? Damn it, what time is it now? Oh no, I, I'm gonna spawn at the bank. No, even further away. Damn it. Okay, so yeah, that, that sucked. Um, I grabbed all my loot, right? I don't have any coin on me. If I had some coin, I could actually buy myself that other uh, drink that I love. The new Coca-Cola things and just be faster. Guys, that was some seriously bad luck just now. When I saw him, I knew I was, I was going to die. But these ones are actually way, way tougher than they used to be. It used to be the red ones were the ones to look out for. Now, all of a sudden, it's also the normal ones like, oh, well, no, th that one wasn't really normal. He was radiated, but still. They are way, way tougher than I, rem I remember. It's just a shame that I don't have cash right now. I could uh, perhaps buy myself some Nuka Cola from this trader. You know what? I wonder if I shouldn't do this buried supplies of here and then hand it into the trader. That might just have some cash for me and they can buy a Nuka Cola and run back. It's just, it's already half past four and I want to go loot the rest of those bookcases. We have still so much to uh, loot from that town, it's insane. I could have easily climbed on my bike, guys, I know that, but I still wouldn't have been able to outrun the vomit from that thing. Unfortunately, it was just that tough. And I need stone. And I need for zombies not to see me, because that was just now... Oh, I wanted to make myself a bedroll at the new place, but I just forgot about it. Hello. Are you an omit pup? Yep, you're the omit pup. Yeah, I see you. Unfortunately, I see you. And you are armored, so you're way tougher to take down. Unless you do a few headshots like this. Oh, nice. Uh, shotgun to the face. Ooh, that was close. I um, need to realize... I, I need to remember I only have a few shots left. Because all my ammo is now... Oh, uh, crap. Mech. Please don't see me. Please don't see me. Please don't see me. Since all my ammo is now at the bag, um, yeah, this is gonna suck. Okay, as well, every time we pass a stone like that, I need to pick it up. Guys, we can't face any wolves or anything like that right now because we just don't have the ammo. If we come across one of those big dogs, we just can't face it. Which sucks at the moment because we need to be able to kill it to progress. Unless we just crouch and hope it forgets about us. Just I didn't bring a shovel or anything. I usually have a shovel on my belt. And I need a little bit more stone. Shovel, there you go. It's only level 1, so I'm going to be digging for a while. I just really hope we get this now, guys. We need this. Hello, copper. Whoops, whoa. How did I miss you, but you got a full shot in my head? Okay, um, you're just decayed, but you're also pissed because you're running. I wonder if some of them are just aggro for no reason. Because that definitely felt aggro to me just now. Oh, I forgot how big this treasure thing is. You, every block you destroy does shrink the hole. But I mean, just look how long it's going to take me to break one block. It's going to take insanely long. I don't know if it's going to be worth it. But if I leave the circle now, it's going to fail, isn't it? Okay, the circle didn't shrink. I'm going to leave this for now. I can't afford to dig that long. So we're just going to hope uh, we get there safe. At the moment, we don't have any ammo. Well, we have eight shots in my shotgun. Wait, why am I running? We can get further and faster with my bike, right? I think you use less stamina. Oh, no. I think it might be the same amount. I have no idea. We just need to be careful of any dogs or guppies or anything. We only have shot eight shotgun shells left and we can't afford to waste them. I need to grab my loot. Hopefully other zombie despawned or was just away from there. I need to grab my loot and go. Guys, I can't believe we just got a demolisher horde. Demolisher wandering horde. That is insane. That's just a bike over there. For a moment, I thought, I thought that's another Demolisher. <laughs> I, I didn't know you can actually get Demolisher Wandering Hordes. Although, we did get a Demolisher um, Dog Horde. So, technically, I should have known that anything's possible. At the moment, I'm just really worried that they're still there. Because I can't take that thing down. If I could perhaps slow down with spikes. Or have the glitch into the wall like the other one. Because the other one was vomiting into the wall. So, I was able to actually kill it. Because it, it couldn't hit me with a vomit. But this one has a clear line of sight to me, so I need to be super, super careful. And there's even a bunker trader over here. You know what? I'm going to loot this one first. We might be a little bit encumbered when we get to the other one, but there are so many traders. We need to mark them as well. I'm just quickly going to mark trader. Even if it's with an X, I can always change it later. No, 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 stamina. Ooh, I can't afford to use my shotgun shells. 
But yeah, we're just quickly going to loot this as far, uh, as far as we can. I need to mark it just quickly so I can see it's a trader. And we'll, uh, we'll keep the locked stuff for now. And now we just need all these books. I'm just going to grab everything, guys. I'll read it later. Because especially since we have zombies on us, we don't want to stand here too long. We can dump all these schematics on our, uh, our bike and we should be safe. We just hope we don't get interrupted by more zombies down here. Especially wandering hordes, guys. These traders are not protected at all. So any wandering horde can get in here easily. Come on, come on, come on. That's just what happened with the demolisher horde and the other horde that had demolishers in it. We're actually getting so many wandering hordes now, it's insane. Okay, so we're almost at the base, then we'll be able to sell. I think that one's open, right? No, this is the last one. We've done all four sides after doing this side, so we can book it. I do need just to quickly close this door so I'm safe. Do this and mark it as trader. Um, what am I going to do? Coin, trader. Okay, yeah, technically I need to kill this guy. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Oops. I'm going to pick up my ammo now anyways, from the chest, so I can't, uh, I don't want, I'll use the shotgun ammo just in case. I mean, we are going to get our guns back hopefully now, so yeah, it was worth it. Okay, that's a big dog, we can't face that right now. Come on, come on, come on. Every time we find a trader that I have not marked, we need to mark a demolisher. Okay, I could technically kill the demolisher from a distance. All I'd need to do is just crouch and aim nicely at his chest. I really don't want to face any tough zombies right now. We need to get to this place, get our stuff, and get back before nightfall. Yeah, what is this place to the left? That's a normal shop. Okay, so hopefully, um, yeah, the other zombies despawned. Especially that radiated one, guys. If he's still here, I don't know how I'm going to kill him. Especially with no ammo. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, yeah, we're just going to grab all our stuff. Um, down here, I'm going to lock myself in a room and quickly see if we've looted everything. I don't think we've uh, gotten all of these. So I'm going to loot all these bookcases. Sort my inventory. No, I can't. I have to read them now. Okay, so let's just see. All of these that we already know, we have to split and then scrap. Remember, you have to scrap one at a time to get the best out of this. You want to get as many of those blue notes as possible. Oh, did I just scrap? No, 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 no. I just scrapped one I didn't know. Ooh, that was a close one. Okay, I need to make sure it actually shows over here that we don't know it. Read it. And as soon as we know it, we scrap it. Scrap. That's pump jacks. The sooner I can make pump jacks, the better. That's a free source of um, stuff. Okay, you can craft shotgun slugs. Five bomb. This one is... Shots to the leg with arrows of, uh, will slow down your opponent. Nice. Uh, find more junk in loot, which means higher, quality, higher quantity. Thank you. Especially before we loot that um, community trader. This is awesome. Find more dukes in loot. This one is adds a small chance to mine rare gems. On my pocket, this one is uh, fully automatic mode does one percent more damage per hit un unless you miss or until you miss. Uh, Twenty percent extra damage to knock down opponents. This one is headshots have chance to stun and a greater chance to dismember. Spear to ten percent more damage per hit to thirty percent. Thank you. Okay, that one I didn't really read right now. Uh, ten percent damage to bears. Okay, that's awesome. Then out to harvest brass from doors. Ooh, that one's going to help. Especially early game. Use no stamina while sneak sprinting. Oh, hello. And then this one is um, craft baseball hats and leather, uh, leather jackets. And take 5% less damage when wearing them. Ooh. That might come in handy. Now the rest of the schematic you should sell. Spear Hunter. Increase projectile speed and range by 15%. We should scrap all of these uh, now, guys. But um, Or rather sell all of these. But we don't have time right now. Just gonna sort this and grab the rest so I can go at the back. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Should delete those as well, but that's okay for now. As long as the zombies don't come to me right now, I I, I don't mind hiding from them at, at the moment. We just need to get as many of these books as possible. Sprinting power attacks. Have, ooh, sprinting power attacks. Stamina penalty. Uh, craft military stealth boots, which have no stamina penalty while moving. Awesome. Guys, this episode is getting on a little bit longer than I thought, so I need to hurry up. The rest of the stuff that we don't know, we'll just go over later together. Come on, come on, come on. Before another Wandering Horde comes in here. This one's empty. The other one, have we done this one side yet? Come on, come on, come on. I need to make sure all these rooms are done. I need to close the doors behind me so the zombies can't enter over here as well. So I need to make sure I don't accidentally double tap. That would suck. 
Okay, with 14 items encumbered, so which again means we need to read, scrap, read, that's HD chainsaw. Oh, we need space right now. At least we're getting a ton of schematics. This episode has been epic so far. Just the amount of stuff we get. 10% more damage to wolves. Um, landmines won't detonate when stepped on. That's a good, that's a great one. Steel clubs, thank you. And scrap, scrap. How many of these blue notes? Whoa, look at all those blue notes. This one is supposed to degrade 20% slower. Nice. So this one had HD, HD, and just another one we can sell. I hope there's no ferals over here. I need to get out of here. There's a ton of zombies in there. Did I mark this just now? Um, that's bad. I didn't mark it. I want to mark it. Trader, trader, trader. Okay, so there is a few wandering zombies coming in right now. Let's just go to the base. But at least we got a ton. Oh, I didn't do these two boxes. Later on, as we do quests for the traders, we just need to make sure we grab everything, guys. Oh, there's a wolf right there. No, 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 no. Okay, so we need to get inside. I'm just going to go inside and do some inventory management. If you guys like this episode, please like and share with your friends. Any comments or tips or feedback that I'm missing anything? What do you guys think about this awesome, awesome episode? Leave your comments down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time as we have some more Where's UK fun.